So this is a Holosun HS510C. It is currently in solar mode, which is still somewhat working, even though we're losing the light. Let us take a gander here at the brightness that we're getting out of solar mode. Somewhat usable in these conditions. If it got a little bit darker, then we'd be in real trouble, particularly if we wanted to use a weapon light. But you can see if I shade the solar cell, it dims pretty badly. There we go, you can see it just very barely visible there. But as long as it's got plenty of uh, light to work with, it's decently bright. Now, I'm gonna put it back into regular battery mode. As you can see, we can get it significantly brighter. Much, much brighter. Now, the thing about that is, there actually is no battery in it right now. This is the Holosun 510C functioning in its supercapacitor mode. This is actually the only current model of Holosun that has the supercapacitor. Uh, just a capacitor, basically. An internal cell or capacitor that's charged by the solar panel and can actually provide the full range of brightness modes as long as it, you know, has enough energy. So, if we leave it on, it probably hasn't charged very well, and if we leave it on bright, it's going to start blinking, letting us know we're getting low pretty soon. But, you know, if you periodically recharge it in the sun, it actually works pretty well. This is actually the reason that the new Holosun SCS site might actually be pretty badass, because it's going to actually function like this on solar mode. It's going to have an internally charged cell that can provide ample brightness. Check that shit out. That is pretty bright for an optic with no battery in it. I think you would agree. Anyway, I gotta go put the battery in the tray back in before I lose the tiny screws in the woods.